Hi! In this video, let us look at how to add content in bulk. You will go to your library. Let's say this is my library. Which one should we take? Let's take this one. I want to add updates in bulk. So I will select add in bulk. You can upload two types of updates. One is image posts and the other one is text post. Many a times you might have an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file. I have a CSV file so what I'm going to do is I will copy everything from there one post per line and I will paste it here. So you can see I have numbered things. This is how it is in my CSV file. So some of them have links, some of them don't have links. I have about 16 posts. I click on add to library. It's now getting data from those links. If it successfully finds data from those links, you will see those posts created here. If it doesn't find data, it will ignore that link and it will automatically move to the next one. It seems it found data. Uh, so it created 16 different posts for me, as you can see here. This is the last one. The ones that had an image, a description, a title, it got them right. It has a message. If I wanted to change this message, I could change that. Uh, do you like podcasts? You will like this one then. Check it out. Then you know I could change the message. Uh, then you remember keep as a draft and stop recycling features that we talked in our earlier video on how to create a content library. If not, let me go over it again. Let's say these are the links or these are the posts that are not live yet. Because you're a person who write your content in advance and schedule it for next three, four months so that you can take a nice vacation and not worry about uh, about your social media accounts. So in that case, the link that is not live, you definitely don't want it to be posted on your social accounts. So you could say, you know, this is going to be live, not before the uh, 30th of December. So we will keep it in a draft until then. Then if you are promoting an event happening on, let's say, February 20th, just so then remember, it's not my birthday. So if it was February 20th, then apply to all. So they everything got updated, as you can see here. So this comes handy when you are promoting an event, updates relevant to that event should not go out once that event has been held. Right? So finally you can make your changes. Uh, images that did not have a link, sorry, posts that did not have a link were simply text posts. You can upload um, an image to go with them if you wanted to. Um, you could change any of these images and finally click on add to library and it will be added to your library. I don't want to do that, um, but if I wanted to, I could easily do that. So that's about it. Um, for the bulk upload option. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Thank you.